Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We got a great question in, and that is how can I stop a psychopath from targeting me? How can I go no contact when they're constantly trying to hover me in? And this is a great question because this definitely is going to occur. And it can occur um, whether it's um, someone who you've dated, someone you've met just a couple of times, or someone who may be really just really hardcore targeting you. So how can you go no contact? How can you remove some of the terror? How can you remove some of the fear? Once they've already ensnared you, they've made you feel uncomfortable, they've broken you down. Maybe you've, you've let your guard down. You thought this was a normal type of person and you've now discovered that this is not your, ter you know, your typical Joe, your typical Sally. This is someone who wants your demise in their scope. <laughs> This is someone who is not wanting you to be happy. This is someone who is wanting to disturb you, distress you, break you down, and furthermore, take your attention kind of like a leech or a blood suck or like a vampire. You can literally feel your life energy draining when you're around them. And for those of people who might have had their first time around with a psychopath or second time, their third time around, you know, you will learn to identify it. In fact, the psychopath it is felt that in especially in specific industries it's one in you know one in a hundred one in 25 in more specific industries where there's a highly likelihood of these type of power hungry um, you know uh, manipulation sort of uh, hungry people power hungry and control hungry specifically music the arts uh, you know the movie stars um, the financial services industry tend to draw and attract these type of people where they can just built into the landscape of that industry, in other words, like a movie star or um, you know musicians um, or the financial services like your stock markets tend to attract this type of person. Where, in other words, you know low integrity goes a far a long way. Um, you know, in other words, it's the people who break the rules who make the money, or it's the people who break the rules in our you know. Um, sexually promiscuous or financially promiscuous, you know, get a lot of the, get ahead and, you know, can accumulate a lot or get a lot of power or get a lot of fame. And so, um, you know, how, how do you go no contact? How do you do, how do you get control over the emotions? How do you get the conviction? How do you get the commitment? So to go no contact means no contact. First of all, you must have an awareness of how serious the situation is. You must know what you're dealing with. A psychopath is an individual who looks at, at life as opportunity. They look at situations differently than the typical person. They have an inner knowing that there is something different about them. Where they, have, uh, they don't really connect to people and love people the way that most other people do. They, they know that they don't really have a heart. They see that other people get moved or emotional about certain things and they're not moved or emotional at all. They don't really tend to uh, resonate with, with specific things, but they observe that other people will resonate with specific things. So they'll target and they'll mimic those experiences and they'll try to basically a draw people in through look at me I appreciate this art or look at me I appreciate this or look at me I appreciate this sunset when they really don't have any sort of connection or feel a sense of beauty to it but they want to key into that or uh, draw people in through their idealization or the uh, charm phase well, they'll say, you know what, um, I know that this gal would really love to go to a garden, so I'll take her to a brook, and then I will we'll sit on um, the, um, the bench. You know, even though they might not love Japanese gardens, they know that no other man has done this for this woman, so they might just take her to this garden. Um, there might be, um, they know that other uh, men won't, won't kiss them in the car or do this to them in, in uh, restaurants. So they know that they can break people down. They'll cross the boundary. They'll say things that most people wouldn't say. They feel comfortable doing this. They feel comfortable violating these people. And, you know, and so it's very difficult to go no contact because, you know, they're so used to this person saying, oh my God, this person was my everything because they said this, they gave me this, they did, you know, they're making all these excuses for how unique and, um, 
how you know what a risk taker this person was and they seem to be the answer of my prayer so they're stuck on that idealization phase or really they're oftentimes they're not strong enough they are not strong enough they don't have the backbone the resolution the wherewithal to try to fend it off and believe me i get that believe me i understand it is very difficult to resist the seduction and uh whoa i just saw a bug oh my god it just looked like it just scared me it was like a really baby get grasshopper about this big a baby 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 grasshopper so we're out here in nature where we can really be loud and talk about some serious private stuff so and i like to keep this not clinical i wanted to make it very very kind of palpable where you can really understand this um and so as we we're talking um now um and i'm gonna pick this up on another video because this video is about to conclude because it's we're running out of battery here we're going to continue about how important it is to go no contact and i mean no contact